Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to take a look at all of the reasons why people are in-box doll collectors versus out-of-box doll collectors. So a little bit ago on the channel, I did a video about why people are completionists because I am not a completionist. I kind of just buy the dolls that I want and leave it at that. And so I thought it would be fun to kind of explore the side of collecting that I don't understand. And so we're doing a very similar thing in this video because I am nearly 100% of the time an out-of-box collector. I prefer to take my dolls out and be able to touch them and redress them and all of that fun and good stuff. And so I thought it would be interesting to explore why people prefer to keep their dolls in boxes for their collections. So just like with the completionist video, I did ask you guys if any of you were in-box collectors and if so, why that was the case because obviously I have to reach out to somebody else because I don't understand personally and again very much like the completion this video a lot of you guys said that you relate to me and you were also at least partially out of box collectors so a big thank you to everyone who did reply one way or the other just because getting all of the insight was really really helpful and I was able to get enough people who had reasons for collecting in box to be able to make this video and kind of gain a little bit of insight there so again thank you guys for responding it's very very helpful and if you are also an inbox collector and I didn't cover the reason why you are an inbox collector in this video feel free to let me know in the comments down below or if you're an inbox collector and you disagree with these reasons you know I would just love to talk about it with you guys um, but yeah with that being said let's go ahead and start talking about why people are inbox collectors Okay, so these are in no particular order. It's not like most frequent to least frequent or anything like that. It's just the order that I wrote them in. But the first one is the one that I most anticipated seeing, and that is just that people like the way the boxes look. Especially nowadays, I feel like a lot of boxes have value in and of themselves. There's often art on the boxes that is very beautiful, or like the box itself is in a fun shape and it displays the doll in a very fun way. So a lot of people who are in-box collectors collect that way because they like how it looks for their display. Like the box is done in such a way that it already looks good, it already is a piece of art, the doll is clearly visible and like in a fun pose sometimes and so they just prefer to display it that way because it already looks good. And like I said this is the thing that I expected most to see and also probably the one that I understand the most because even though I do take all of my dolls out of box I do sometimes keep the boxes or at least portions of the boxes for display purposes so I might keep the box take the doll out of it but then like set the doll kind of back in the box to display or I might keep like the back of the box where the artwork is and display it next to the doll and I did get a lot of comments from you guys saying that you do have similar things so that was just fun to see that like a lot of us kind of do the same thing um, but yeah I definitely can relate to this one the most because even though I do take the dolls out of box I get seeing the box and liking how it looks and thinking that even the box itself is really beautiful so you don't want to destroy that. For me that means that I'm careful unboxing and I use some or all of the box in my display but for inbox collectors that means that they just keep the doll in the box and they appreciate the doll that way which I think is totally understandable and really lovely. Okay number two on the list was very interesting to me. It's the idea of the doll not being touched and almost being like a time capsule. Obviously we think of this as like older dolls, but even the dolls that are coming out now, if they're kept in box in 20 years, they're going to be like a time capsule. This made me think of like the older Barbies that I collect. Again, obviously I take them out of box, but a lot of them I have bought in the box. And so it is kind of cool to think that it's been 20 years since this doll came out and it's never been taken out of the box. Like that is kind of a weird and awesome thing to think about, like all of the things that this doll has indirectly seen all of the moments in time that it has indirectly been touched by but like it's still pristine in the box is a really cool concept so I definitely get why people like this because it kind of makes your collection a living time capsule of what it was like to be around at that time and to be buying these dolls on the shelves so a lot of inbox collectors said that they like keeping them in box because it's kind of preserving the doll as it came and it does act as like a time capsule or almost like a museum piece for them and I think that that's so fun like as someone who likes history I think that that's actually really beautiful um so yeah even though I take my dolls out of box even the ones that are really old I do think that that's a cool concept that this doll has like passed through possibly many owners and many hands and many events and it's just still chilling out in this little box still looking as good as the day it came out the next reason that came up was value kind of I just in case sort of situation. Obviously there's no way of really telling how a doll's value is going to increase or decrease on the secondhand market over time aside from 
just waiting it out and seeing what happens. The secondhand market does also fluctuate a lot, so a doll might be worth a lot, and then a little, and then a lot again. You just never really know, but some people do prefer to keep their dolls in box so that they retain the most value possible, because even if a doll doesn't have a lot of value on the secondhand market, generally speaking, it is going to be more valuable if it has never been removed from the box versus if it's out of box because it could be missing pieces or it might be damaged, and keeping it in box does retain the doll's value. So a lot of people do like to do that. Again, just as kind of like an in-case sort of situation, at least from the comments that I got and I was reading, it's like, they do intend to keep this doll because they bought it for their collection, but if they ever decide that they don't like the doll anymore, or if they ever need to sell for financial reasons, or because they're moving or anything like that, some people like to collect in box because they can still appreciate the doll while it's in box, and that way it does retain a little bit more value so that if they ever do decide to sell down the line, they can get the most bang for their buck. This one is one that I kind of just disregard on a personal level. Like, I'm not judging anyone if that's why you like to keep your dolls in box, because if it makes you happy and it makes you feel safe, that's great. Um, this is one, though, that just comes up in my life. I think I've mentioned before on this channel that my dad used to hate that I took dolls out of boxes because he was, like, one of those people who would have kept them in box to retain the value. For me, I kind of just have to bite the bullet and be like, yeah, they're not going to be as valuable if I want to sell them because the out-of-box enjoyment like supersedes that value, but that's not the case for everybody. And if that's how you like to collect, that is dandy. This video is definitely not meant to be judgmental. It's kind of just interesting to see things from other people's point of view. And for some people, that potential value is more important than taking it out of the box. The fourth reason that I got was to preserve the doll. And that is not to preserve the value, like we just talked about, but literally to keep the doll itself safer. Whether that is because things can get knocked over and bounced around, or if you are someone who has to move in the moving process, like things can get nicked and damaged. If it's in a box, the box might get damaged, but the doll itself might be totally fine. And then also just dust. Like, it seems like such a small thing, but any dolls that I have out, like all of the dolls behind me here, they do collect dust because they're not in like a glass cabinet. Obviously a glass cabinet is another way to kind of protect them because they are in a sealed container, but the box also does that. And so a lot of people said that they like to collect dolls in box, or even if they sometimes collect out of box, they might keep more expensive dolls in box because it keeps the doll itself safer, you know? The doll is like strapped in there, whether that be by string or plastic ties or whatever, the doll is like strapped in, so the doll itself is less likely to get damaged. The face paint might not get damaged, I know on older Monster High dolls, a lot of the time the faces have been damaged if the doll has been taken out of box, especially if it was owned by a kid and played with, but a face is a lot less likely to get damaged if the doll stays in box. So again, this isn't one that I practice or that I could see myself practicing because for me, the out of box collection is just more enjoyable, but I do totally understand where people are coming from where it's like they spend their money on this object and they want to keep it looking as nice as possible for as long as possible and keeping it in the box is definitely a great way to accomplish that. Okay, two reasons left, which is kind of funny because I think I had six completionist reasons in my completionist video as well, uh, but we are number five and that is anxiety. and. Wow, do I understand this one as someone who just has so much anxiety. <laughs> Usually not around my dolls, but I can understand the concept. For some people, the idea of, again, spending their hard-earned money on this doll, the idea of taking it out of the box then gives them a lot of anxiety because it could get damaged or parts could get lost or something could happen. So it's just this anxiety about keeping the doll safe, or it might be the anxiety of having this perfect, pristine box and you don't want to mess it up. And that one I can kind of understand a little bit more. I dabble in the arts, and a lot of the time what stops me from continuing to work on a piece is I like how it looks, and I'm afraid to mess it up. And so I feel like a lot of you guys were saying that you experienced that with doll collecting, where it comes in the box, the doll looks nice, the box looks nice, everything is pristine and beautiful, and you know, usually you're not gonna mess it up, but there's always the chance that you could mess it up, or even if you don't actually damage the doll or the box, just the fact that you're taking it apart can give a little bit of anxiety in that regard. I know that this one is not one that everybody can relate to, and again, not one that like I get on a personal level, because I don't have a ton of anxiety around my dolls, but I can understand being anxious and kind of being a perfectionist in that regard and wanting to keep things nice and beautiful and not wanting them to get messed up. Um, so yeah, I, I can understand this one, and I'm sorry if you're someone who feels that way, because no kind of anxiety is fun, it's just not enjoyable, but I definitely understand if it makes you feel safer to keep your dolls in box. And then the last reason was ease of storage, which was very interesting to me because I think I view it 
the opposite way because to me if a doll is out of box it takes up way way less space in storage you know you can kind of just wrap it loosely keep the accessories in like a little baggy and it doesn't take up as much space as a box does so this was really interesting to see because again i think the exact opposite way i'm like oh i can store more dolls in less space if i take them out of box but this isn't about storage space, but about ease of storage. And I do understand that if everything is in a box, that usually is like a similar size and shape to other doll boxes, especially if you only collect one line. Like most Rainbow High boxes are the same sort of size and shape. So it can be very easy to just stack them all up. And it's like a nice organized way to store them. It might take up a little bit more space, but you know that the dolls are safe because they are in the box. And again, it's like a very consistent size and a very consistent amount of space that it takes up. You can also stack them very easily. I've seen some people who collect in box where they won't even have shelves for all of their dolls, but they will just make stacks of boxes from like floor to ceiling. And it works because they're in box. You obviously can't stack out of box dolls like that. So this was a very, very interesting one because I had never really considered that before. Again, just because I automatically collect out of box like I just want to hold the doll so I had never considered that there might be a storage benefit to collecting in box but it does make sense that your storage might be a lot more organized and you can more easily tell what dolls are in and out of storage if they're like easily accessible in the boxes versus what I have which is just tucked away in a pin so yeah this one was a very interesting one to round out the list because I definitely would not have thought of this without getting input from you guys. So yes, those are six reasons that you guys said you are inbox versus out of box doll collectors. As I said before, if you are an inbox collector and I missed something or you disagree, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear more feedback. And if you are an out of box collector, I would also love to know what your reaction was to kind of getting this insight that you don't necessarily always get. It was very interesting for me. So I hope you guys did enjoy it as well. If you did enjoy the video, if you can give it a like, that's always helpful to me. And if you are new here, if you enjoyed what you saw, maybe subscribe so you can see more. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.